Hello, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. Now, in this video is a kind of follow-on from my last video or so. Well, it was the last video I recorded. I'm not sure if it's the last video I published on my channel. But hey, that video was about gravity forms and adding forms in general to your uh, WordPress website. Now, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to set up goals within Google Analytics. Now, these are really useful because it allows you to measure how well your website's performing because it allows you to track how many people are actually performing an action that you want them to do. And now, in this example, the goal that we're going to set up is someone that's filled in a form on the website, and we're going to say that's a sales lead type goal. Uh, the other way you can set up goals is obviously on your um, your checkout if you've got an e-commerce site, or it could be anything that you want people to do on your website, maybe download a file or whatever, and the kind of same principle applies to all of those things. Um, so hopefully if you follow me setting up for a form, you'll get the idea and be able to, follow, and be able to set it up for, um, for whatever your goal may be. Okay, so let's get started. Um, here's my uh, test website and it's got a nice contact us form. Now what I wanna do is set up a goal so that when someone fills in this form, it gets reported into analytics as a goal. Um, so then over time, obviously I'll be able to see where uh, people are coming from and which um, source of traffic or whatever is the best source for my leads. Okay, it's basically two steps when it comes to setting up Google Analytics goals. The first is we need to create a thank you page or basically the page that we're gonna track and we're gonna call um, our goal page. So when someone reaches this page after they've filled in a form, for example, or maybe when they get to the end of a checkout, we know that they've performed the action that we wanted them to do and therefore it should be registered as a goal. So what I'm gonna do, I'm logged into the test website here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new page and I'm gonna call it thank you for sending a message. And for the body, I'm just gonna put thanks for getting in touch. We'll call soon. So basically this page is gonna be displayed um, after someone fills in a form. So let's publish this page. Okay, I'm gonna view the page. And here it is, quite a simple page. So what we need to do now is we need to set our form to be able to uh, redirect people to this page after they've completed it. Now I'm using Gravity Forms and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do it with Gravity Forms. Uh, if you don't have Gravity Forms, I'll put a link up on the screen now. Um, just be aware it is an affiliate link so I will get a small kickback if you use that link, which I would obviously be most grateful for. Um, if you're using another type of form like um, C forms, it's also possible um, to redirect, but you'll need to look up on how to do that. Basically, the, the outcome that you want is that when someone fills in a form, they then go to a thank you page like this. So in Gravity Forms, I'm just gonna go back into the dashboard, and I've got this forms, which you get with Gravity Forms, and then I'm gonna go in there. And then this, I've got two forms, I'm just gonna do it on the contact us. And I'm gonna go into Edit, and then under form settings, uh, I'm gonna to go to confirmations. And the default confirmation is there. I'm gonna click edit. At the moment it just says thanks for getting in touch. Uh, and I say what I wanna do is put it through to a page. So I'm just gonna click page and then I'm gonna select my thanks you. It should be thank you, you know. If you watch my videos, you know typing is not my strong point. Uh, well, typing the right things. I can type quite fast, but generally it's, it's just gibberish. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna send people through to the thanks you for sending a message page and click Save Confirmation. So let's just give that a try. That's set, I'm gonna go back to the the, uh, the front of the site. I'm gonna to go to my contact page, and I'm gonna fill it in, where my name is Eagle, and my phone number is, oh, just some numbers. My email is Eagle, yep, that's the one. Uh, this is a test. And then I'm just gonna tick a box and then I'm gonna click some message and then hopefully we're gonna go through to that thank you page, which we have. So my message has now been sent. I'm a lead, I've gone through to thank you page. So the final step, the second step is we just need to set this up in Google Analytics. So what you need to do is copy this part of the URL. So that's just, you know, your permalink, um, the bit after your domain, just copy that to your clipboard. Go into your analytics, I'm logged in here for the test analytics um, website. If you haven't got Google Analytics set up on your website yet, then please have a look at our video, which I'll put up on the screen now. And just click there and go through and it shows you how to set up Google Analytics. And then once you've done that, come back here. So once you've got analytics all set up and you're logged in, what you need to do is you need to go into, um, down the bottom left-hand side, you've got this goals. 
If we click on goals, oops, sorry, if we click on goals overview, it says it's not set up. So let's click on set up goals, and new goal, that big red button. And then it's brought up all this stuff and none of these ever seem to fit for me. So I always click custom and click next step. Now the goal description is a contact message. You could call it sales lead, could call it whatever. Um, could be a sale. Now, if it was a sale, for example, on an e-commerce site, you would set um, the next part as the end of your checkout page. Normally, again, a thank you page that by default is um, generated by your checkout. But if you haven't got an e-commerce, it's just simply you know copying that thank you page that we've just done. So I'm going to call it contact message, and it's a destination. So um, it's when someone reaches a particular page. I'm going to click next step. And then here is where we're going to paste in that URL that I just copied a few minutes ago. So I'm just going to paste that, and that is obviously the URL of the thank you page. So, it, so that Google Analytics knows when someone gets to that page and that URL comes up in the browser, they're a goal and it needs to be tracked as a goal. If you want, you could add a value. So you might say every lead is worth 50, um, 50 pounds or $50. So you could turn that on and you could say, yeah, each lead is worth $50 to me. You can turn on a funnel as well, um, which basically allows you to set up a path. So if you had a number of steps that people go through, maybe a checkout, you can uh, create a funnel so you can see where people are dropping out on their way to the goal. I'm not gonna worry about that for now. Then I'm gonna click Create Goal. And that's it, it's all done. Um, I hope that's been useful. I hope your goal tracking um, works for you and you can start to see exactly where people are coming from and, and which ones are generating um, the best sales leads or whatever for you. If you like my stuff, please like the video, subscribe, and you know, all that kind of stuff. You can find more videos on wpeagle.com. I will see you soon.